streets, streets hip hop and, and R&B. R&B. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, we back from commercial break, right? That's yes. what y'all just got finished listening to. Look with me. Featuring Wayne called MF and Right. That was a hit. <laughs> yes. You know MF and Right, that Wayne catching the coronavirus. <laughs> but this is the part of the show. My favorite segment of the show, the critically acclaimed favorite segment of the show, by not just at me, but by the fans on Zoto Radio, the Shade Corner, where we throw shade at any and anybody that's in the community or that's in our personal life that has said or done some dumb, dumb stuff, sh- right? So y'all ready for the shade or not? Okay? They so ready. The first person who I'm going to throw in the Shade Corner, it's not Nicki Minaj, but it's somebody who commented on something that happened to Nicki Minaj. Right? So, WGCI just came out to them. They basically said that Nicki Minaj is the first female rapper to earn $1 million. Mm-hmm. Right? She's mm-hmm. the first female rapper to ever do it, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to throw shade at the fan who commented and said, I love the success. I just wish she cared more about being a positive role model to the young girls that look up to her. Congrats on the win, so let's take that platform seriously. First of all, this is why oh. I'm going to throw shade at him, right? I'm going to throw shade at him because don't congratulate me in one sentence and then in the same sentence, Put me down, Put right? You down, right. And the situation that you're telling her to be a positive role model is because her husband is going through this um, sexual, not sexual assault, what you call that? Um, the sex trafficking, I mean, uh, not the sex trafficking, but the, um, what's the stuff called in the community where you be trying to rape? Sex offenders. Sex, sex offender stuff, right? So you basically like judging her for something that her man did. Mm-hmm. And I just said this like a couple of weeks ago, like, we should not be judged by the person that we with, right? Now, sometimes I do understand that the crowd you keep is basically what you're going to end up being like. Right. But in this case, congratulate her and move on because this ain't got nothing to do with her man. Right. It's got everything to do with her. And it's not her job to be a role model for anybody that's listening to her music because she are not them kids' parents. Them kids' parents, their mom and their dad, should be that role model right. for them and not Nicki Minaj. Like, right. I understand, like, yeah... You know what I'm saying? People look up to these rappers. People start doing dances and stuff like them. And people just start saying their sayings and, you know what I'm saying, just, oh, putting a Barbie at the end of their name. But in this case, just shut up and have several seats. And just go worry about who, you know what I'm saying, talking to your baby dad. <laughs> talking to your, oh, this, I think this was the dude, too. I would say, what is that, a female dude? Yeah, this was the dude. Okay. <laughs> so... He's sitting right. at home, carotene by himself. He's sitting at home, carotene by <laughs> The second person who I'm going to throw shade at, in a tweet in the league, allegedly, Donald Trump had tweeted, and this is probably from a fake account, but it got the very fat mark right there, so it probably is real, but Donald Trump tweeted, he said, yes, I ordered the Treasury, the Treasury Secretary to send checks to Americans. First, however, we will go through your social media history from the last four years and search for any post with hashtag not my president in it. I wouldn't think of offending you with a check if I'm not your president. Hashtag make up. Oh, no. That, that, that can't was a, be. That, and that's not me being shade. That was, that was shade on his part because if he did really tweet that, just think about it. We always say, but we never hashtag not my president. Well, I don't. When I say not my president, I just put it in the status like, not my president, but I don't say I never be associated with not that. my president, you feel me? But you still not my president, and I better still get my check. <laughs> like, I better still get my check. And I'm waiting on it. I'm going to be sitting at the mail like, <laughs> I don't get it. I'm going to call in an envelope, and I'm going to send it to the White House. Oh, my God. And I hope you get the coronavirus yourself. Oh, my God. Since you're negative for it. Tanisha, what you got for the shade for this? Okay, um... Make this real quick. Okay, it was this girl. I don't want to say her name, but I, I saw a Facebook post about this girl, right? She um, she got pulled over, right? So, she was like, I don't know why they're pulling me up. I don't know why they're doing this to me. This is some, bull- this is some BS. I got to go to work. I'm going to be late. So, she said, to make a long story short, she said that they didn't did this to me. How long ago? Because she had like a, she had like a, um, a car full of people in the car with her. So, she, and she going live talking about this. She got other people in the car. She like, yeah, y'all. When the, when the other time I get pulled over? They like, yeah, about, uh, about uh, what, two or three weeks ago? And a month after that? So, come to find out. <laughs> she say that yeah they had put me over for my tail light and then they put me over again i don't know the reason why they telling me it's, it's my tail light again really i said <laughs> i'm like gee so i'm putting her in the shade corner for going live 
for doing some dumb stuff that I mean for doing some dumb stuff I mean you just said that you got pulled over for the same stuff like more than three times baby girl it's your tail like get your damn tail like fixed so you want me to get pulled right, over get your again tail life fixed. she probably ain't got no money cause she got the coronavirus no cause she said she was late for work so she got a job she got money she got ends well, Girl, maybe, get that goddamn maybe, tail maybe, like this and you stop getting pulled over. And, maybe, and y'all heard what my favorite co host said. Go get your, <laughs> your license fixed. Just like y'all can pay all this money to get y'all the big old eyelashes on y'all eyeballs and bogus <laughs> lace fronts. Y'all can pay to get y'all rags. And she like, had on one too. She had the nails done, everything. You could have got your tail like this. Girl, quit, quit stop getting pulled <laughs> over and get that fixed. And look, so the last person that I'm going to throw in the shade corner is somebody that I absolutely don't like. Right? We talk about it all the time. Alexis Scott. Oh, yeah. Right? So, Alexis Scott is on a new season of Ratchet, my favorite Ratchet Monday show, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, right? Oh, okay. So, she's on there scene fighting with Cardi Red, right? You know, last season, Cardi Red had a, she got engaged to a man named Arkansas Mo. Oh, I did right? see that preview. This okay. season, um, Rashida had a 20 year anniversary at her restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. Alexis Scott wasn't invited, but she showed up anyway, right? And she showed up, and she didn't say no words. I don't know what happened over the summertime or what happened when they first got into it, but I guess Carly Red told her that she was going to spit on her mom, right? Now, I understand why you would be frustrated with something like that, right? Mm -hmm. But at oh, the same yeah. time, it's kind of like before filming, you ain't see her before filming? Like, you don't know what she be at before filming? <laughs> so, right. Like, that's how we know that you're just doing it for TV. For TV, yeah. If somebody says something about my mama, I'm not waiting till we start getting checks to act a fool. I'm going to go find your address because y'all both live in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go find your address and we finna get busy. We finna get down. Like, I'm not finna come Facts. to nobody else's party that I wasn't invited to. Facts. Take my shoes off when my feet can get dirty and cause a problem. <laughs> right. So she basically was on there saying that the ring that Mo proposed to Carly Rae with, he gave it to her first. And when they broke up, you know what I'm saying? He saved it to get the Carly Red. Oh. Well, Arkansas Mo came out basically denying 